Joined right now by our friend Yay. Jeffrey Chadia. You can read his story every Monday, NFL.com slash first read. And Jeffrey, it sounds like the Rams are a team that you think might be a little bit better than their record indicates here. Yeah, yeah, I was right about that this week, trying to find teams that are under the radar, you know, underrated. And the Rams certainly are one of those teams to me. Saw them play last week against the Eagles. And what I love about the Rams right now, you know, they lost Cooper Cup for four weeks. They found Puka Nakua. You just showed Kyron Williams there. Uh, a young running back is becoming a rising star for them. But this team really is playing in a weak NFC. They've got a great opportunity to land a wild card spot. I look around that conference and I say, who can be better than this team in the wild card race? And I really can't find anybody. And that speaks to what Sean McVay has done. Still have Aaron Donald. Still got Matthew Stafford. Cooper Cup is back. They look pretty good to me. What about the Bengals? I mean, you know, they, they struggled so much earlier in the year. Joe Burrow was not healthy, looked bar could barely move, tried to do some pinpoint accuracy stuff while being stationary, and it was, it was tough for a while. And they're 3-3 three and three going, into the, going into the bye. Not so bad, maybe. I, I agree with you. And for me, I, I don't really worry about Joe Burrow except for him getting hurt again because when he and Jamar Chase are doing their thing, they're pretty good. Uh, what, what always question, what, the big question I had about Cincinnati was the defense. Losing Von Bell, losing Jesse Bates, and you saw them step up in that game against Seattle in the fourth quarter twice. Seattle had opportunities to go ahead with a touchdown. They couldn't get it done. They got big sacks, big defensive plays, knocking the ball down. So I feel like if Cincinnati's defense can come around, their offense will be fine. So, again, in that NFC, NFC, AFC North, they're in pretty good shape. I just did the highlight on the Houston Texans, uh, Jeffrey, and not only did they have three wins in six games, three impressive wins. Pittsburgh, yeah. Jacksonville, New Orleans. Three teams yeah. that might be playing uh, into the middle part of January at the very least here. What do you think of the Texans right now? Well, same thing here. It's like I, I'm one of those people, I'm guilty of it, of looking at the Texans and saying three coaches in three years, massive rebuild again, a young quarterback. And then you look up and you see C.J. Stroud playing the way he's been playing. Going into that game against the Saints, they were a top 11. They were 11th in scoring defense, 11th in scoring offense. They're balanced. And for all offseason, they talked about how they wanted to build a team around whoever they were going to draft at quarterback. And they've managed to do that. Not a ton of star power, but good at quarterback. Offensive line has been banged up. They found a way to get through it. They're resilient. And they believe. And they've got a great schedule coming up. they got four winnable games in the next six weeks. Jeffrey, thank you very much for coming on the show. As always here, NFL.com slash first read. Always a must read every single Monday. Okay.